I feel my queen's hatred burning like a star. But there is something underneath it I do not understand. It's pain, Isha. Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from memories. Of an enemy who damaged you? No. Memories of better times. Of a friend now lost. Guess what? I've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Okay, well the former's true. Maybe not so much the latter, but I may have to try it out. Yeah, sorry folks for not being around. Things got hectic for a while, and then what happens? I get sick. I don't know what's wrong. Still not feeling too great, but I'm getting the video out. So anyway, we're going to continue here, and yes, my fever has not been fun. I'm hoping I will be getting over this, especially since uh, we got Easter right around the corner. So, ugh, craziness. Also, if I can, I would like to get a special video out for Easter. I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but i got a couple of days before I have to sort that one out. I'm sure I'll find some. All right, so we're back with Heart of the Swarm here, and I guess we got some people to talk to. So let's talk to Zagara. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand Vision. I will go. Well, that was very nice of us. You know, I wonder if we didn't talk to Zagara. If that would, like, kind of change the way the events go. Because every time we talk to her, we send, send her to Avatar, or whatever his name is. Hmm. Interesting. I may have to try that sometime. Alright, let's Isha. talk to Isha. When the Queen of Blades... When I commanded the swarm here on Char, what was I like? You were mighty. You made us cunning and strong, and we knew we would survive forever under you. And now? Now nothing is clear, but the swarm will continue. If you die, we will serve another leader. I am the leader of the swarm, and if I die, so do all of you. Remember it. Hmm. There's a guy here. I don't need to read Warfield's mind to know what he's planning for me. He has no idea what he's up against. Alright. We'll go here in a second. Let's see what we got for Kerrigan. I earned level. Plus 20 life. Yay. So, uh... What level am I? Or Kerrigan. Ooh, ooh, nine. Okay, wonderful. So... Level 10's coming right up. We get improved overlords. 50% more supply. That could be useful. Uh, respawn from primary. We'll probably go this route, though. I think I got that in the past, and it's uh, pretty brutal. can kind of work against you as far as supply is concerned, but I plan to keep a healthy supply. All right, here we go. New discovery. Large-scale improvement to Zergling sequences. What kind of improvement? Answer complex. Can branch evolution of fully evolved Zergling form two new strains? Then add them to the swarm, Abathur. Strains mutually exclusive will compete in sequence. One must be chosen. Other must be discarded. Fine. Make some of each. I want to see them in action. We'll set up tests for both. Initiate from Evolution Pit. Guess we'll deal with Warfield in a bit. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, basically, in addition to the wonderful things we can get here, we also... Zergling strain ready for augmentation. Unique essence discovered on Dominion Security World. Collect essence. Adapt Zergling. Destroy Dominion Outpost. Yeah, so we also get to 
completely and fully augment our Zerglings to something special. So there's a Swarmling strain, which is kind of cool. And there's a Raptor strain. And I will let you guys know which one I'm going to pick later on. But for now, we get to play them both. And I really do apologize if uh, this video gets a little dull or anything like that. I really am not feeling good. And I'm doing my best to try to keep it upbeat and exciting and all that great fun stuff. But yeah, it, it's probably not going to be one of my best. That background's kind of gooey. Fascinating. Yes. Yes, I like this right here. I think Zerglings are my favorites. That may seem so weird to people, but I just, I like the fact of having lots and lots and lots and lots of little guys. Swarming is fun. Aha, see, many of you are probably guessing right now, I'm going to choose Swarmling. We'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> if you guys got plans for Easter, it'd be kind of cool to see what they are. I mean, without praying too much. Anyway, feel free to write in comments. Everything was going to be great for me, or I was going to go visit some family and stuff, and then all of a sudden, apparently, like, the people hosting the party are going on a vacation so that kind of fell through so I got some gaming time in on Sunday and I'm gonna go for it planet callus Dominion security outpost in mm, that sucked to be these guys Valley, out of reach adaptation required Local Karak vault through air, attack prey, devour Karak, collect essence, can assimilate trait into Zergling Strand. Once collected, Dominion outpost within reach. Guys, time to kill bird lizards. enough essence acquired new sequence spun into zergling strand augmented zerglings ready for combat oh, got flippers good let's see them in action delivering additional zerglings now can't say no to that oh, they're like all termites now okay well, we can jump cliffs Mm, go there. strain leaps to close on enemy scales cliffs. That worked pretty well. Sure is a lot of them. I wonder what would happen if we went. Send everyone over here. Ah, forget it. Forget it. Just go. Oh, beeline for that. Beeline for that. I call that a win. Destroyed. Next strain ready for testing. Cool. Planet Astrid Three, Feral Zerg Brood. Feral hatcheries evolved unique adaptation. Morph zerglings very fast. 
I'm taking control of the Hive Cluster right now. Incorporating adaptation into Swarm. There's a Dominion force on this world, inbound on the Hive Cluster. Work fast, Abathur. Swarmling strain complete. Ready to morph. Oh, okay. Swarmling strain. Hatches quickly. All three from single egg. Overwhelms foes. That could be fun. Dominion incoming. Morph larva into swarming strain. This is insane. That's a win. Attackers eliminated. Ready to morph additional circlings. Destroy base. They're everywhere! Then shoot everywhere! Make my little guys trump their big guys. Okay, for so, which one, decision. which one are we going to pick? Uh, actually, we're in this one. Why? Well, primarily because I think they look kind of funny with the wings, and it's kind of terrifying. But actually, I do like the fact that they can jump cliffs. The swarmers are nice, and yes, I do love swarming with my zerglings. But I found I'm pretty good at doing that without having three pop out at a time. So I'd rather have the leaps over obstacles on the targets from range, and the gains two damage and an increase of 40%, and the jump up and down cliffs. So that's the track we're gonna go with these guys. Evolution complete. Kind of remind me of cracklings, anyway. What is that sound? Failed experiments. Reverting to biomass. Slow process. At least put them out of their misery first. Wasted effort. Creatures will die soon. Pain irrelevant. When you say things like that, Abathur, I almost remember you. And I feel anger. Anger product of adrenaline stress response. Imminent threat. No threat to you. No anger. I'll be the judge of that. I don't know if I trust him. Because we really trust any of them. Alright, folks. Well, this is definitely going to be a short video, but I kind of don't feel I can put my all into, you know, too much right now anyway. Maybe when I'm feeling a little better. Hopefully, I'll get something done tomorrow or Sunday. I really want to do a special video on Sunday. We'll see what happens. If all goes well, I'm doing that. But uh, anyway, stay tuned, and I should be throwing something new up fairly shortly. It is the weekend, after all, and I'm really excited to kind of keep this thing going. So I will see you guys next time, and uh, hope you enjoyed.